The names that built this program are legendary. Lewis, Taylor, Reed, Portis, Kosar, Testaverde. And it is with reverence, respect, and excitement that we welcome you to Hard Rock Stadium, home of the Miami Hurricanes. And while today is the final home game of the season for one team, it is more importantly a celebration, Senior Day. As we'll see, the winners of four straight, the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, taking on the 13th ranked team in the land, the Miami Hurricanes. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Canes will put total leather to crank us up. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. So the Wake Demon Deacons offense is on the field for the first time today. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David. When he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure he gets a lot of touches, whether he's open or whether he's open, because he's always open. The tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Got three on first down at second and seven. Trying play action. Feeling some heat. Facing a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. And it's picked off. Trying to take it back. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. This offense knew coming into this game it was not going to be easy throwing against this defense. They're at the top of virtually every major statistical category when it comes to pass D, and the quarterback just found out the hard way throwing a pick on the opening drive. So Miami's offense will go to work for the first time today. When a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing down your neck, and you've got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. That's a big matchup in this game. Well, and that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs under pressure. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Dropping back, it's Ward. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that pick. Touchdown, Hurricane! the grab and finish the deal in the end zone. Offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. 
Wake Forest offense returns to the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. From the shotgun, the inside give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that play shows you really what this defense is about. It's a difficult one to attack. They're really good. One of the best in the country. They come at you from all angles. So I, I'm interested to watch. How do you mix up the play calling? How do you keep the defense off balance? Because they are a good one. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. And the Demon Deacons will punt it away on fourth down. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. First one's on its way. The leg ought to be strong. Only called on twice in the victory last week. The coverage team was down there to corral it. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep it. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. When you talk about outstanding pass rushers, you're always talking about dynamic guys, and he's been that each and every week for this defense. Speed, he's got power. You just simply can't block him. And that last play is his 10th sack of the season. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. Really want to try to pick up at least half of the yardage needed on first and ten. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle. It's Martinez. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And that's why for the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. Throws toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And I know most offensive coaches, they're going to be thrilled taking all these 50-50 shots against man coverage. I don't know, though, if they want to keep testing that defensive back. He has been on fire. Pulls it in. It's Martinez. Not just hard-nosed running, that cement-nosed running as he gets it to the 25. Running backs just have to be a weapon in the passing game, even for little dump-offs and checkdowns. Yeah, find your matchups. I mean, you think about running back versus a linebacker. We like that matchup in space, and so... Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. You know, when you go down personnel package, you've got extra DBs in the game, so it's harder to throw if you're the quarterback. There's just not as many windows. They've got more guys in coverage. You're expecting to at least have a little bit more time, but your offensive line, man, they just couldn't hold up. They're throwing for it on fourth down. He wants to take the top off, and he is! Accepts it. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job breaking on the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down or you see them trying to catch it. It looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking on the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it. Wake Forest has it back and here comes the Deacon offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Tom. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this game. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains, to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Looking for a man. It's Buckmeyer. 
And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hog mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. to throw and he needs a bunch gonna try to pop one on the screen didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down you gotta love that on defense one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down how do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive right there tackling the catch you gave up the completion whoop de do you set up fourth and long you're gonna get the ball back go get some water and sell it that's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. A first down for the offense. The give. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. On the option. Oh, and he can't hold the pitch, and the ball's loose. The defense scoops it up, and they're bringing it back. Racing down the left side. Touchdown, wait. Not content to get the fumble. They scored with the fumble. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. Right down the boulevard. Entertaining first quarter, and we are all locked up after one as we take a quick look at some stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Looking for a productive play on first down. Back to throw, it's Ward. Fires left. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. After the misconnection, it's second down. Got it behind the line. It's Johnson. And good blocking in space out there to give him enough room to pick up the first down. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And the Hurricanes come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Pressure got to the QB that time. He was trying to find his check down out of the backfield, but the hit forced the incompletion. And the incompletion brings up a second down. The pull and throw off the RPO. 
They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Trying to get to it. Makes the grab outside. It's Washington. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Got some of the work done on first down. Let's see what they have on second down. He's looking to throw. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. He stopped almost immediately. He didn't get much, but he didn't need much. They've got the first down. I like the running back there on the route, the patience he showed, really setting it up. Got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last one. Looking to throw, it's Ward. Throws to the tight end. Complete to the left. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play as him set up. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. And the Canes have it with a first and goal. Get set, get set. Try to barge their way in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Canes! Bringing the extra beef. It's goal line. I know what I'm going to get. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to be bigger, stronger at the point of attack, push you around, and the running back does the rest and finds the exit. Getting set for the point after. Oh, that's like blowing the layup or the three-inch putt. Missed the extra point. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Clemson is darn near perfect offensively today. This is almost exactly the way they drew things up this week in practice. They're up 14 over the Pandas. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He uncorks one deep. Snags it. Touchdown, Demon Deeks! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Man, you want to make big plays in the passing game. And to do that, you've got to be able to read the defense, see what they're doing to make sure you don't put the ball in harm's way. You could see he drops back, got really good comfort level with what he's seeing. He knows he's going to fit that post over the linebackers in between the safety. Ball is on the money, and they're rewarded with a touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point gives them the lead of 14-13. They wasted no time on that drive. Got it on their 25, and two plays later, they're in the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance. You know, run and pass. No, when you throw... He's looking deep. Makes the grab on the right. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. You get a guy who can do that on the outside and is sort of in the DNA of Miami's program. Yeah, just speed. Those are guys that put fear in you. Those are the track stars. The, the Sunshine State produces so many of them. 
Those guys can absolutely fly. Get a big play like that last one. You flip the field. You change the momentum. Now it's first and ten from the 38. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, the offense was trying to go draw, make it look like pass. But I'll tell you, the linebackers weren't fooled. They came down hard quickly. Got into the backfield and got the tackle for the loss. Bunch formation trying to confuse the secondary. Back to pass. It's Ward. He's going to run it. Across the 25. He's got room. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. Got some room headed to the goal line. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. Here comes the two-point try. Here's the snap, looking to throw. They get it into the end zone. Two-point conversion is good. The lead stands at seven. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finished it off with a 17-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the offense. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And, and listen, if, you're sc if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. They'll snap it from the 34 on first and 10. He wants to throw. That's caught. It's Fields. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out round all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. The aerial assault continues. Catch in the middle. It's Morin. And a big hit at the end, but it didn't stop him from getting the first down. If they're going to sit back in zone, I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing, find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the pass. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And this is why this team is losing this game. They cannot protect their quarterback. He's already been sacked a bunch of times, almost got sacked right there. This guy doesn't have a chance with the way this offensive line is playing. Already in field goal range, but now trying to convert this third and long from the 20. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. The sure hands, it's Fields. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep him away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Well, they knew coming into this game, touchdowns were going to be real hard to come by going up against 
this defense. So when you've got opportunities to kick field goals, you've got to come away with three points. You're not going to get these chances. And the pressure gets there. Ten down he goes at the 18. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. He lets it fly. Makes the grab down the left side. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Just enough time for one final play. And going deep. The pass is incomplete. And one second is left. Let's see what they've got on second down. Looking to pass. It's Ward. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific start from there in beautiful Miami Gardens. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you've got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. With that said, let's send it back to the guys in the shadows of South Beach. Deacons will kick it away to crank up the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback doesn't feel like it because you can't protect him. So, David, adjustments in pass protection. He lets one fly deep. Brings it down on the right side. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Hurricane! And once he found open space, the man might as well start playing. Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing the go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy, I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch, and he does it in a big moment here in this game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Maryland has the lead right now, but if this team has taught us anything over the years, it's that no lead is safe there in College Park. They're up by just one over Iowa. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. First down here for the offense. From the gun, the running back has it. He gets it all the way out to the 19-yard line. They pick up a six. See, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off the blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. And the Demon Deacons want to pick up the tempo. On the ground, it's Claiborne. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. I don't like the play call. You're down this much against the best run defense in the entire country. You're just smashing your face against the wall. You're not going to get it done. To win this game, you're going to have to throw the ball to get back in it. 
tight end finds a soft spot. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down, or else they are really in trouble. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Smashes through. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. The Demon Deacons are on the move. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first half. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. That Kane defensive front is taking up residence in the backfield, and there are a lot of guys in the past who've done that. There are so many great names, and, and we could go through Vince Wilfork. And... and the pass is intercepted! Couldn't find much breathing room to return it, but the interception has this offense in business at the 27. As a quarterback, you've got to give your receiver an opportunity to make the play. You've got to put the ball on his body. And that throw gets away a little bit from the QB, and that leads to the tip and the interception. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Boy, that last touchdown, the one play, quick strike, score. Jesse, this offense, hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. I don't know if they're going to get the same looks defensively because of just how explosive that play was, Reese. David, they may be seeing a little bit more uh, off coverage on this drive and maybe some softer boxes to run into. And when you make that kind of explosive play, you're going to put the defense on its heels. They're going to be a little bit more conservative. So this offense approach now, maybe I don't have to go deep. I can go a little bit shorter and just make those easy plays underneath. Now the toss. That's just plowing ahead. And a big play there on the option. The pitch was executed perfectly. The Hurricanes have it with a first and ten. Used to play fake. Now to throw. He's got it and still on his feet. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Looking for a man. It's Ward. Got it. And he's forced out of bounds just short of the goal line. They'll stop him at the one. Well, the tight end shows off his speed. You see his ability there to separate from the defender trying to cover him on that drag run. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Trying to punch it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, K. And there's no secret about it. Line up in goal line formation. I'm going to run the ball down your throat. My guys are more physical than you. Six points on the platform. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The Wake Forest offense returns to the field. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. On second down, he's looking downfield. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Balls at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And the quarterback is snowed under. The third down offense has not been good. And add this one to the tap. Another third down stop. They give up the sack. They're down by three-plus possessions. Nothing going this offense's way. 
Looking for a block. It's Restrepo. Makes a move. saw daylight the instant the ball touched his hands and he darted to it and took it to the house. And Reese, I think it's one of the hardest things to do in football, to catch the ball as all these guys are flying around you and you got to take it, make a miss, try to find spaces and creases that aren't there. Great job making a huge play. Special teams and punt returns coming up big. On to attempt the try. The kicker is on for the extra point. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So his big play capability was on full display in that one as he took that punt back for the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the Deacon offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive moment. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Going to run it. It's Claiborne. Still running at the 40. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Here we go. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll throw it on first down. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? The incompletion brings us to second and ten. The give to the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. And the Demon Deacons decide to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll bring it back. It's Restrepo. Cover guys do their job and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now in the same place. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Okay, right. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Yeah. To the air, it's Ward. Dumps it off in the flats. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. And the heat was all over him, and that's the way the third quarter will wrap up with a big sack. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. A third down play to get the quarter started. From the gun, wants to pass. Got a man, it's Martinez. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And the Canes are moving quickly down the field. Comes out throwing on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. 
Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He wants to pass it on second down. Stands in and takes the hit. And it's knocked away. Downfield, the DB getting a hand in there. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. He'll just keep swinging it. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. QBs and receivers on third down. Everything has to happen just a split second sooner. You're expecting pressure. The quarterback gets hit. Just not on the same page with his target. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's going for it all. And that pass is intercepted. He goes out of bounds, but what a play to create a sudden change opportunity. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job of getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Unloads to the wideout. He got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. The offense came into this game knowing that for them to win, they were going to have to make some big plays throwing the football. That just has not been the case. Here in the fourth quarter, they've been held to less than 200 passing yards, and that's really the story of the game. And this is why coaches get paid the big bucks. Tough decision on your own side of the field. Fourth quarter, I'm trailing. Is it go time now, or do I trust my defense? On fourth down, trying to find his man. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. All by himself down the middle. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Wake! This game is almost certainly decided already, but the good news is for the next game, guys still flying around, still playing hard, not really hanging their heads. Long season. This is early in the season. Still got plenty of time. Still find out which plays you like, which you don't, and, and keep running them, keep getting better at them. So use this as practice. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's perfect. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Clemson is putting on a show offensively. It feels like this one was over when they touched Howard's rock. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did on the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. Back to the line after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 37. Quick toss. Gives him the big stiff arm. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. On the option. He'll toss it. Dropped after a pickup of four down to the 16. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Keeps it on the bootleg. Using his legs to buy some time. Got it on the outside. It's Arroyo. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Nice catch by the big target. Those big tight ends, you can tell in football, are just becoming more and more of a weapon on every single team. Looking downfield, it's Ward. 
He wants it all. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. Looking for more room. The 20, the 10. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. And this defense has had a rough day, but how about this play? Breaking on the football, making the pick, taking it to the house, maybe build some momentum for some future games. And they pick up the extra point. Kicker knocked it right down the middle. They still have work to do, trailing by two possessions here in the fourth. They'll line up for the onside kick. They're on it, and they get it back for another drive. Let's get weird. This is exactly what they needed. They needed something to happen. Down two possessions, fourth quarter, got to make it happen. Onside kick team comes through. He looks that one in nicely. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. The Demon Deacons moving quickly to the line. Well, they've got a ways to go if they're going to win this game. It's all about getting the drive started. They come away with a positive play to get this thing going. Let's see what they can do now. Finds his man down the middle. Really confident throw and catch there. Big kick up, and they have a first down. He's looking to throw it. And the defense gets home. yippee ki -yay at 35. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. Got his man quickly. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Working the middle, it's complete. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Now on the option. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Yeah, and, and that's step one. Great job by this offense of getting in the end zone. Now you got to go get the stop. You got to get the football back. You got to find a way to do something to create a turnover, get an onside to get the football back, to get back in this football game. Let's see if they can roll snake eyes in a good way and get the deuce. Barges ahead. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, every coordinator has a couple of two-point plays in his back pocket. They dialed one up there. They didn't get it. Let's see how that affects the outcome of this one. He'll return it. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. So we've got a tight spot here, David. They'd love to run off the clock, but all those timeouts staring at them. And they got three timeouts on defense, but I know a first down ends this football game. So I got to get my guys physical, ready to roll. Yeah, because you know this defense is going to be playing the run. They're going to be loading the box, trying to get tackles, using their timeouts to get the football back. So this is going to come down to who's better in the trenches. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. 
that's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. When those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. They're looking for an advantage to the right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Really nice job by the defense getting that last stop. All third downs in games are important, but this one just feels like it's the biggest down of this game right now for this defense. If they can get off the field, they've got to give it back to their offense with as much time as possible to have a chance to win this game. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Now they'll run the draw. Just ran him over. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. Fresh legs, man, and it is showing, of course. This team had the bye last week, and you're seeing it right now late in the game, running the football, imposing their will against the defense that looks tired. Of course, they had to play last week, and, and you're seeing that right now. You want to talk about building confidence? Coming through with clutch plays, making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season. Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters. And this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps. They've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big-time plays. And I think belief is what you build. That confidence, you know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week-to-week -week success. And you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollack, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.